everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you are new to my channel, then please feel free to click on the subscribe button in order to receive notifications for any new videos that I upload. In today's video, I wanted to talk about which signs help you recognize that you may have a narcissistic parent. The first sign that helps you recognize that your parent may have NPD is the following. They always need to make everything about them. They are the center of the universe and their needs always come first. Number two, they brag to others about their children's achievements or accomplishments. But the important thing here is that they don't actually tell their own children that they are proud of them and that they are proud of their accomplishments. Number three, they use guilt a lot and they brag about how much they're constantly doing for you but they make you feel horrible because they tell you that you are not doing enough for them especially after everything that they have done for you. Number four, they are always blaming others for their problems and these problems are usually a result of your narcissistic parents bad behavior. Narcissists don't take responsibility for their bad behavior and they will always blame others. It will always be somebody else's fault or something else's fault or the weather's fault. It's never something that they have done wrong. Number five, they will utilize three types of manipulative behaviors in order to control their children. Blaming, which is what I mentioned before, guilt tripping and shaming. And also, let's not forget that a narcissistic parent will gaslight their children as well. And that is another form of manipulation that a narcissistic parent will use a lot, especially the covert type. Number six, they will use negative comparisons and they will pit one child against the other. They will constantly create conflict amongst their children. Number seven, they will place unrealistic pressure on their children to succeed in order for the parent to look good so they can brag about their child. They will make the child feel like no matter what they do it is never good enough because they want their children to always be perfect at what they do and they are so unrealistic in their expectations that the child struggles to do this because of course you can't be perfect all the time. It's impossible. Number eight they will manipulate their children by rewarding them one minute and punishing them the next. So this intermittent reward, punishment, reward, punishment creates a trauma bond in the child and it is easier for the child to then be manipulated by the narcissistic parent. Number nine, a narcissistic parent will use emotional coercion to force their children to measure up to their expectations. Narcissistic parents will be extremely controlling of their children. They will micromanage every aspect of their life. They will try and influence every aspect of their life, whether that's who they're friends with, what they eat, what they do, where they go, how often they're allowed to go somewhere. They may stop them from um, joining activities at school because they want to micromanage them. They will control every aspect of the child's life and they won't allow the child to have an identity of its own. So this will then create a child that grows up into an adult and is filled with insecurity, low self-esteem, self-doubt, feelings of shame. And this child will struggle so much to be with other people, to have healthy relationships because of the awful abuse and programming that the narcissistic parent has inflicted on the child. Now, if you are this child, if you are now an adult and you struggle with a lot of different issues, then these may be the reasons why. Your parent may have done the things that I mentioned previously. If you can relate to this, then please feel free to share your experience in the comments below the video today. It's a very short video, but I just wanted to go through a list of things to watch out for if you suspect that your parent may have been abusive. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and for listening, and I will see you very soon.